isn't it? It's in race mode. I left it in race mode. <laughs> okay, so that makes a bit of noise. How do I make it make more noise, Alpha? Do I start to twiddle things? What's the D N A D D? That's N. That's A. D is like dynamic, isn't it? Isn't that the fast version? What oh, is yeah? <laughs> right. Let's just get the kind of horsepower crap out of it, right? This is very, very fast. That's the easiest way of explaining this. Forget most is one of what 500 horsepower is. This is it. Oh my God! That noise. Oh, oh yeah. Oh yeah. Can I take control of the gears? I want to take control of the gears. Let's do manual. Oh Jesus. Um, I might leave a little wet patch in this seat here. Oh! I need to go home. Who's skateboard? Nice skateboard, I swap you. Longboard, look. There's a little bark and a bite and a roar out of the back of it when you change gears. Oh, I love it. Now I know a lot of the roads around here. I've driven many cars tested out of the beautiful Powers Court. We had our Irish car of the year here last year as well. It's a really beautiful location, but this car is mwah, so far, right? I'm not even looking at design yet. I haven't even looked around the interior. I'm just, oh, the noise. It's an Alfa Romeo, it's red, it's Italian. It sounds like it's going to have my babies. Jesus! <laughs> Pardon my French there. This is unhinged! I love it! That's the fun part though. This is the kind of car that's like, yeah, I'm a four-door saloon. But you know what? I'm going to kill you. I'm going to kill you. <laughs> yes. I have no idea what gear I have. Two second, I mean second. I'm looking to see where gear shift is right now. Oh man. Uh, I won't be home. I'm not coming back. I'm just gonna keep on going here. How much fuel have I got? Over full to well, just off full. Yeah, yeah. Let's go to the other end of the country. I don't even care what this looks like. I'm gonna drive with the window open. Listen to the noise agent. Off the exhaust system out there. Oh, I'm in love. This is it. Oh, and it's it's really trembly. It's really like you gotta fight a little bit with it to keep to keep the power in, so it doesn't try to absolutely massacre you. God, it's pretty in here. Right, let's look around. Let's be let's be journalists for a minute. Stop, stop, and we go into A. I go back to like normal D. Okay. Okay, that's boring. Let's go back to D. Dynamic. No, what we do? We go for race. What's race? Oh, race. ESC is off. Everything's off. Everything just turned off. Yeah. The fear is good. Oh. There's lots of yellow lights across my dashboard now telling me that I've just turned off every safety system there is on the car. <laughs> I love cars like this. You see, this is where my relationship with cars goes. So I'm, I'm kind of becoming an environmentalist. I, I see there has to be an end to this, to this endless seeking out of fossil fuels to power cars. And then you get into something like this, you go, oh, let's burn a dinosaur. Uh, that's all that comes over me straight away. It's like, yes, I want to drive everything all day. But the reason this car should be our future of petrol cars this kind of car this kind of pure aggression because if we all drive electric there'll be enough petrol left for me to go out in cars like this and just burn it <laughs> not to worry there's more roads up ahead there's plenty of roads out here that we can drive on without having to worry about without having to worry about mr golf here from us common who does not have a license or something Oh! <laughs> you get a little graphic equalizer on the dashboard. 
<laughs> I'm sorry, Mr. Carsa, little learner driver's going, my God, what is that noise behind me? It sounds like thunder. Alfa Romeo power is what it is. You know, it doesn't matter if this car is rubbish looking, it's irrelevant. It's just like icing on the cake. It just feels so alive. It just feels alive, you know, alive with me and wants to be going and feels urgent and angry, you know. And that's kind of where I wanted to be. That's exactly what I'm after in a car like this and in an Alfa Romeo. It's a shame more car companies don't do stuff like this, just this kind of crazy, psychotic mentalness that comes across in a car like this. Jesus! <laughs> The corners just rush up at you, which is really cool. And that noise just bellows out the back the whole time. And there's a sort of a graphic equalizer that comes up on the dashboard when it's time to shift. Which is kind of cool. Two yellow things going boom into the middle. Really, really good. I just want to say, can I stay in this? I, I know the lovely people back in Alfa Romeo went to know you. There's quite a queue. I could have brought 40 of them and we'd all need one. Me. I'm driving. Race mode. Okay, we'll have to be looking. We'll have to be journalists for a minute. Let's just be journalists for a minute, okay? Let's just go back to A mode or something. That's the, the option. The part where I said I was going to be a journalist to do this today, I'm not too sure it's a good idea. That cloverleaf thing, that's so pretty, that's beautiful, that's gorgeous, love all that. Gorgeous, right. I've inspected everything else, it all looks good. Let's go. Now, shh, wait now, hold on a second. Put in, put in D, that's the one there. It's got stop start. Well, I suppose that's saving a little bit of the environment. Mm -hmm. It just makes the world come zooming up at me. Oh my, f whoa! It's alive, you gotta be awake to drive like this. Oh yeah. The great part is I'm not going fast, but it feels fast. It feels like I'm absolutely barreling along at a million miles an hour because because of the way the set car is set up. So this is fun at slow speed. I'm doing 50, 30 kilometers an hour now and I'm still feeling like, my God, I'm going so fast here. It's crazy. I love that, the urgency behind it. I wonder how much my house is worth. Probably not very much. I wonder if I could sell body parts for this. I wonder if I could sell other people's body parts for this. Maybe I could, you know, find someone who's got a spare kidney, sell that, allow mine, get this. That'd be very nice. There's a man on a pole. I don't know what that means, the relevance of that. But... And I'm barreling through the beautiful Irish countryside. For no other good reason than I'm driving an Alfa Romeo. <laughs> this is crazy to be in a, a situation where I just jumped into a car, my first drive, and I am beside, this is love at first sight. This is what happens when you go out on a Saturday night and you meet some random girl, you just start talking, having a chat, and then before you know it, you're married. You know, that's, that's where this is. I now want to buy, I want to have this char, this car's babies. I wonder if there's someone in Alfa Romeo that I can just romanticize and go, give me one, give me one. This one though. While it's an absolutely beautiful car, and I have no doubt, and I know what's gonna happen in this country full of saddles, you're all going to watch this review and go, wow, Cloverleaf, I really want one. But what's really going to happen is you're going to go out and buy a diesel. 
It's a race car dressed as a four-door saloon and I absolutely adore it. I am besotted. I need to go lie down. I need a few minutes and a towel. I'll be back soon. Okay, I hope you like this review, I really do. New content comes out absolutely every day on my channel. There is short videos and I will get this car in a short video sequence as well. This is the longer version of the two. This is available first to Patreon subscribers. So if you subscribe to me on Patreon and you pay a little fee, you will get this video first. Uh, if you go to patreon.com forward slash the next gear you will find me there submit as much or as little as you like uh, you can also send me money by paypal my email address is bobflab at the next gear.com don't hesitate to get in touch if you wish and until the next time please subscribe and check out my channel in all its respects i will see you on the far side